everyone, Scotia here. Uh, today I'd like to go over how to take care of your hearse because of course you have a hearse. <laughs> you better, otherwise you're not gothing right. So here I've got my 62 Cadillac hearse. It's a m and so Miller & Meteor Coachmaker. So you've got your, your manufacturer um, and that's the Cadillac and then you've got the coach builder who built everything to the custom specs of the funeral home who ordered this commercial vehicle. Now, one of the big issues I'm having is water, and specifically, getting water on the inside of this beautiful vehicle. So, I know part of the issue is gonna be these wondrously dry rotted seams here. Let's see if we can get this in focus. There we go. Um, and that's going to be coming down the road. Uh, that's a big project. you got to order all these. Um, but I've been getting a lot of moisture in the interior. Oh, look at that culprit. So I've been having to... Past two days, I've opened up all of the doors and the windows. And I've wet vac uh, all the interior here. And then also taken a blow dryer to the headliner. So headliner here has been replaced, uh, but back here, my headliner started to sag. Uh, there were some issues, well, with it being from the 60s. So this front part of the headliner likes to capture a bunch of fluid up in there, uh, condensation. And so what I did yesterday was wiped it down and then took a blow dryer to try to get rid of some of this moisture. Um, the other part that I've been having problems with, oh, surprisingly, these, uh, the seams in the, uh, whatchamacallit back here, these have actually been fine. Oh, look at that. You got a little spider friend. Ooh, they just love it here. Um, the back hasn't been leaking. It's just been the, the front compartment. Uh, one of the things that the the coach builders or the funeral home who is ordering this could specify was all the interior crud. So this one was covered in this, these felt pads, um, specifically underneath here. And it's probably for sound dampening, but they end up just soaking up water if there's any moisture in the air and it's horrific. So I ended up scooping out that disgusting wet felt pad. There was a lot of rust there's been a lot of rust from the beginning. Um, the floorboards in the front had been rotted through, but I had those welded, so I've got a nice floorboard up there. Um, I did not do the welding because that is not my talent. Um, so back here, that all of those uh, rust flakes ended up getting moist and they were making a slurry. So I ended up scooping all this and then sweeping it and then blow drying it to try to get it to dry out because the last thing that I need is for the car to be rotting from the bottom up and from the inside out. Otherwise, we're pretty good here. Nice straight chassis, a little cosmetic stuff, but you know, it's an ongoing project. Uh, I've had this, I've had my hearse for about four years now and I've had like any girl, I went for the pretty things first and I got the front all done up and nice. Uh, the headliner used to hang down in front of your face here, so I had the front redone and the back had been okay up until about a year ago, but you know, what can you do? Uh, the front part here, I uh, had the this part all welded, so that's all new steel. And then back here, you can see I had vinyl put in and I'm not liking it. I was trying to be true to the original construct of the vehicle. It, it originally had this white vinyl that looked like Berber carpet. Uh, couldn't find it, of course. It's really hard to find some of these um, pieces for custom-made vehicles. So uh, anyway, I had this mock vinyl in. It's just, I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of it. It's just a big hassle because I've got to pull out the, the uh, runners here and then the seat. So it'll be a disaster. Um, but the water likes to condense underneath here as well. Terrible. So anyway, let me know if you've got any ideas. I can't do a carport and it doesn't fit in the garage. So I'm going to talk.